And so this is a, a specific case. This is a patient who is missing a uh, molar, and uh, we are going to place an implant. This is a healed site, and so you can see here that it's um, the upper right first molar. We have adequate amount of bone. We have both decent width and height. We aren't going to need to do any kind of sinus elevation, and we're just going to place an implant traditionally. And you can see here with the good bone quality and quantity at the time of placement, we have a, um, an ISQ measurement of 80, which is quite high. Those of you who use the, uh, the RFA device know that that's a pretty high number. And so that could help us determine, number one, if we want to place this as a one or two stage Obviously, this could be a one stage because of the high ISQ value and even potentially be a case that we might want to think about loading immediately. And so this was a case where we decided to place it one stage and so it's going to have a healing abutment placed and we can have very high confidence that this is going to be a stable implant long term.